من زمن قديم كانت الأسلحة تستخدم بالحروب وبالأوقات اللي بيحتاجها الإنسان لحماية نفسه لكن بوقتنا الحالي في أمريكا أصبح السلاح حق لكل مواطن ومقيم على الأراضي الأمريكية حيث تم شرع هذا القانون عام 1791 ميلادي وسميت هذه الوثيقة من الدستور بوثيقة الحقوق خلينا معكم نزور أكبر متجر للسلاح في الوسط الغربي الولايات المتحدة ونقابل خبراء في هذا المجال لا يطلعون على قوانين حمل السلاح في أمريكا قانون السلاح في أمريكا We have multiple constitutions here that people should know The number one is freedom of speech Number two, this is number two The second from the top of the list which is the right to bear arms Illinois, you need a special card It's called a FOID card or for short, FOID card. And then they just added another card about, I'm gonna say 10 years ago, which is a concealed carry card. A concealed carry card gives you the right to carry a firearm on your side loaded in uh, some places that you can and cannot take your gun. You just gotta fill up the follow steps. You go online, uh, the Illinois State Police website, which is ispfsb.com and you follow the steps of getting a FOIA card. It's very simple to do. Again, you have to be, you don't have to be a US citizen. You can be, you can have a green card, or obviously a US citizen can, uh, can make it happen, but um, you have to be legally here in Illinois to, for you to get that FOID card. They won't sell you a gun if you are a felon. If you have a bad history of criminal background, you have to be uh, basically legit. You have to be, you have to go by the rules because the state of Illinois doesn't want to give a criminal or a bad guy a bad uh, uh, a gun. مع منع أصحاب السوابق من تراخيص اقتناء السلاح وهذا ما زاد بيع الأسلحة الغير قانونية وتشار حوادث السلاح بأمريكا وما زالت حرية حمل السلاح نقمة على الأمريكيين حيث هناك مطالب من بعض السياسيين بوضع حد انتشار السلاح You'll be surprised. Right now it's big. Right now there's a lot of people that own guns especially Middle Eastern people, African Americans, Hispanics there is no color when it comes down to guns. So when you come into the store, we'll tell you, hi, how are you, how are you doing? I'd like to see a gun, okay, can we see your FOIA card? We have to make sure that you have the right credentials in order for you to buy a gun. So once we verify that this is you, you have your FOIA card, you pick out a gun, uh, you'll pick it out, we'll grab it from the back, we'll help you with your paperwork. Um, I mean, you'll do your paperwork. And then uh, if you're approved on the spot, you take it with you after 72 hours. If you are waiting or pending, as they say, you wait between five and 10 business days. Now, this is the state of Illinois. Other states like Texas, it's very simple. You, you get it the same day within less than half, uh, within less than an hour, you'll get your gun. Because if somebody comes and they're so mad at their neighbor, they're mad at their cousin, their friend, they want a gun, and then they give it to them and they go shoot them, and there's a big crime that happens. Where no, you buy the gun, you cool off for 72 hours, and then you can pick up your gun. That gives people time to think. When it comes down to buying a gun, there is no such thing as the perfect gun. You will always have a malfunction or a jam. But 90% of your jams and malfunctions happen because of bad ammunition. That's 90%. They, they usually say the 10%, 90%. Me personally, I say 90% of your jams, malfunctions happen because of bad ammo. 10% back to the user error. What I mean by user error is, the way you hold the gun, you have to hold the gun the correct way. This one is an FN 45 caliber, okay? This one holds 15 bullets, 15. Well, the, the bullet on this one, it's a 45. It's a big bullet, 45 caliber. Oh, it has a safety. There's a safety right here. This is your safety and it's a full-size gun. Why is it a full-size gun? Because you don't have to hide the gun. You don't have to hide the gun because it's for home protection. The smaller gun, so for example, I'll tell you a perfect example. The gun I have on my side is for my work slash my home. This one is for my concealed carry because it's smaller. This is what I walk around with, right? So this is my concealed carry gun. This is my home protection gun. So there's a difference between such and such. So when a customer comes in and they're looking for a gun, I like to pick their brain. Are you an 80 year old woman? Can you do this? Do you have arthritis in your hand? Or you have a medical condition? So these are the things we look for. We look at the, the structure of the person. If they're healthy, 
can they rack it? Can they, they, we will definitely, we don't just sell you a gun. Personally, me, I don't just sell you a gun. I want to make sure that this is the right gun for you. It's very important to me. We'll tell you what you need. We'll help you with that. But the best way for you to learn is to ask your questions. You should learn about guns because at the same time, this is not a game, right? Um, there's, this is not a game where you respawn and go back to playing a video game. Well, this is real things. So you should understand, first of all, you should understand how to hold a gun. The most important thing is how to hold a gun, how it works, how it operates. Does it have a safety? Does it not have a safety? Is it a name brand? Is it going to jam? What happens? What could you do when it, because there's some things you got to know, because if your gun jams, how are you going to clear that jam, right? And, and fix it in order for you to continue shooting the bad guy. So there's some things you got to know. So I urge the people that do that, you got to take some training. Uh, try to avoid that as much as you can. Avoid that as much as you can. Conceal carry class, basic training, kids class. Right now, today we have a kids class going on uh, from the age of 10 to 14. I could, uh, they left to go shoot. They'll be back in a little bit. They took, they took a, a three hour safety class, which will be up here. Um, for example, like they'll teach you, you know, um, ammunition, uh, how to, how that works, uh, hang fire, misfire, squib load, the, the, the types of malfunction that there is. So they'll sit in the class for about three hours learning this stuff. And if they do really good, they go outside and they go shoot 30 bullets. But this class is good for concealed carry too. This is where we have the concealed carry class, the basic class, and then the holster training class, which is quickly drawn from your holster. We show you how to do that here. And then we go to the range and go shoot. Guns don't kill people. Stupid people with guns kill people. So this is the VIP room, Shabab. Oh, wow. um, this is my favorite play, place of the Mahal Marat. Uh, busy, busy, busy. Bajihan, Balabriyadu Ma'azabain Marat. Basawi Halik, you know, Kasset Kahwa. So we're gonna go inside. Uh, full auto, full auto. Heavy specialty. So we're gonna put these on. It's a very good stress reliever. It's a good. So some people بحبوا يصيدوا سمك. في ناس بحبوا يلعبوا golf. في ناس بحبوا يطخوا. بنزل الضغط. لا تروح نزل أشي من ضغط هالكيت. تقولنا تحت إنه شو رأيكم بالرماية وهل هي فعلاً تنزل الضغط ولا لا؟ yes. واللي ما جرب خاصة هون في أمريكا شيكاغو عشان يجي عند علي. Eagle Sports Range. هيا. Eagle Sports Range. وأهلا وسهلا. بس ما ما make sure you have your FOIA card with you and write credentials. اتفضل. <تصفيق> <تصفيق> He's not holding the right way, bro. Thank you.
صديقنا المصور يلا يعطيك العافيه محمد واو رهيب يا زلمه شو رهيب رهيب هذا الاي كي 47 فول اورو فول اورو جاهزين يا جماعه جاهزين طبعا هسه علي يرمي عن السلاح الثاني تجربة يعني من العمر أنا خفت أوقف برافو عليكم honestly you did good and you did good يعني احنا بنبلش من الصغير من الكبير انتوا بلشتوا من أكبر شيء مستر مو خميس in the building like subscribe ما شاء الله على الزلمة and guys there's gonna be more videos إن شاء الله they're gonna come in so like he said like comment if there's something specific that you want to see or if you have any questions comment and i'll answer we'll answer together inshallah, inshallah. all right <laughs>